Hey all, this is Adam 060756. Well, I used to be known as Adam 060756. I'm now just simply I, I now just simply go off my real name, which is Adrian Gorner. I've still I still got this YouTube account going, and I've got a few things so uh, that I want to say in this video and talk about. And I know I don't upload many videos anymore, but I'm going to explain why. I'm going to talk about the Mega Drive, of course, which is down there. Still got it. Still play it like crazy. Okay, um, I'll just, you know, tell you what I've been up to and what's going on. Why I don't upload as often. I'll just, you know, explain everything and tell you what I've been up to. And yeah, so um, first of all, some of you may have noticed, some of you probably haven't noticed, and most of you probably don't give a shit, but I'm just going to say it anyway, that after 2012, you may have noticed that I don't upload as many videos anymore, and I'll explain why. Um, well, you see, a few years ago, I was still living with my parents, right? This is around 2009 to, you know, 2013. And within that period, you know, like most of you, you know, I was living that fanboy thing, that fanboy dream thing that we've, we've got going here on the internet where we're all into our, our video game consoles and we, you know, we go on, on YouTube and we look up videos and, you know, the stuff that interests us in our hobbies. You know, and I used to, I used to upload all the time, you know, on this very computer. I still have it. Um, but, you know, things have changed since then, and I'm not saying my interests have swayed, you know, to other things, because I haven't. I still play the Mega Drive. I play it nearly every day, you know, after work, you know, any chance I get, you know. When the missus isn't watching telly, I'll play it, you know. That's just, that's just me. It's always going to be my interest. There's no, there's no, there's no doubt about it. It's just that there's other things that have, have, have come into it now. Like, um, earlier this year, I bought my own house. So I don't live with my parents anymore. I don't live, in, you won't see that bedroom anymore. Where I used to do all my homemade video, videos on, um, my Sega consoles where I used to show off my little mods and things like that that's gone this is my house right and I don't I'm not renting I actually bought this place okay this is my place see my kitchen my clock my fridge my bills my mortgage it's all mine I live here with my fiance who I met a, who I met a few years ago and we both live here together. Now, we're only got to get married and have kids to complete everything. But in time, that'll come. But anyway, not to drift too much off topic. Um, so I have a full-time job, right? I've had this full-time job since uh, 2012, beginning of 2012. And, you know, that... That's a, that was the, probably the start of how I wasn't going on YouTube much and I wasn't uploading much. But I still I still kept at it. It wasn't I think until beginning of 2013 that I really started to decline in uploading videos. I probably upload now what once every six months, just something I feel like I really want to show off. And you know, t the truth be known, I, I probably still will upload videos, but <coughs> it's not going to be like before. You know, it's just, I guess my heart's not, not quite in it anymore to do that. But I, I guess that's how most of us feel. And I, I think YouTube's got something to do with it too, because ever since they changed the new design, remember the old design on our channels when we could um, upload, you know, what backgrounds we wanted and we could decorate it, personalize it how we wanted. And then the beginning of 2012 I think it was where they, they changed it and they all look the same now they're all white and you know they keep adding all these new features in but it's not quite the same so it's just that sort of turned me off too because you know they keep adding all these new features and things and you've got to get used to them 
and you know sometimes you come home from work and you you go online you log on and it's like oh what the fuck well, what's happened you know why has it changed you know I just did, couldn't understand it but I can tell you one thing the time all the time that I spent offline I still kept busy on my computer like for instance this box here is full of all homemade CDs of all video game music where I'd actually record the whole soundtrack put it on CD right write all the songs out even the the length of, of this of the tracks I'd use a printer and I'd print out a cover for them you know like I got heaps here I've got like they're all mostly Mega Drive I won't lie to you and this one's all sorts it's like all different stuff these are all music soundtracks and I listen to these at work you know and I started doing this I think in 2013 yeah and I finally figured out how to burn the music and make my own compact discs because I've got the software now where I can actually record from you know any source of audio not just rip you know songs off, off another CD which you could do anyway but you know like ugh, I've got heaps here like what have we got oh this one's a good one it's a mixture of uh, it's all Lady Gaga songs right but they're all done in the style of Sega Mega Drive so it's pretty good you know there's all different ones look we got Mr. Nuts Ooh, even got a Jacko one Jewel Master that's the original Japanese Mega Drive cover you know some don't have covers um, look I got one here it's got Matt Furness on the cover that's the Master System one look at this oh Tommy Tallarico the guy that did Global Gladiators and Cool Spot and Aladdin and all that stuff Superman no cover oh an actual dreams come true one I listen. I actually listen to these at work. No, no kidding. Because I'm a metal sheet worker, and my job is very physical. And but it's also very boring if you don't if you don't have audio or music on. But luckily, my boss lets me listen to all this stuff while I'm working. Otherwise, it's a boring job. Street Racer, Havoc, Batman, Zool. Shinobi, Mortal Kombat, some of these pictures I drew myself. Oh, we got a Nintendo 64 one here. Lemmings. Oh, what it's a it's one hell of a soundtrack, like I've always said. The Mega Drive one, of course. Outrun. Unga Bunga. Chuck Rock. What else is there? Sonic. I've got plenty of more of Sonic upstairs. Streets of Rage doesn't have a picture. I'm not big on Streets of Rage, the music. I've even got Sonic 4 here. You know, it's pretty good. You know, like Alien 3. Ooh, another Lemon one. Sonic. Oh, can't forget Book of Me. Anyway, you get the idea. I started doing that around, um, yeah, 2013. And I was at it every week, you know, every week I wanted to make more and more, you know, make more soundtracks. So I could listen to them in my car, on the way to work, I could listen to them at work. So at least, while I'm at work, if I can't play my games, at least I can listen to the music from them. And what else have I been doing? Oh, well, let me tell you. Um, this, is, this is where I keep all my games now, right? All my Sega Mega Drive games are here, right? There's all two rows there of each. And there's more there. I've got a whole box full of loose ones here. The cheap book. Look at that. Look at that. These are all loose games that I've also collected. And the box even says Sega Mega Drive on it. You know, they're all loose cartridges there. I've got more Mega Drive games here. I've I've bought a hell of a lot since you know my last video where I showed off all my games. Yeah, like there's more down there, Master System. I keep all my Mega CD ones up here, and I've got a hell of a lot of them. And this is this is the other thing I wanted to get to. Like, I have a hell of a lot of these now. But I'll tell you one thing: I will never buy any Mega CD 
or Sega CD games off the internet ever again. I will never go to Amazon or eBay to buy them. You know why? Because you can download and burn them on the CD yourself. And that's what I've done here. Starting with Wonder Dog. It looks like one from the shop. Looks very much like one from the shop. But it isn't. See? It's a homemade one. And I've done that with a lot of these. Like, you know, the same deal again. I'd print the covers out. I'd look for the covers on the internet and I'd print them out. I'd try and get the back covers. I try and get the spines too, you know, but they're all homemade ones, like Mighty More from Power Rangers, it's homemade, it's got a back to it, it's got a spine, you know, okay, some of these are from the shop, but most of them are not, like Lethal Enforcers, that's another one that I got off the internet, I mean, why spend 40, 40, 50 bucks or whatever to get the game off eBay when it's most likely the disc is going to have a few scratches in it when you can just download and burn the ISO file to a disc yourself? You know? I mean, it's just, that's just what I do now. I just go down, get down the list on my computer and I, I find out what, what ones, what do I feel like downloading and playing on my Mega CD? I think the next one I'm going to try is the Smurfs. Look, I've got more here, like, to move some there. Shack Rock 2. This is homemade. It's got a spine. Doesn't have a back. You know, why, why fucking buy them for when you can just download them yourself? Oh, I haven't showed you the absolute best one. Let's not forget this one. Oh, I think I can get it. It's right at the back because I always arrange my games the best to worst. The, the best is always at the far back row and the worst is always at the f at the bottom front row, if that makes sense. Anyway, this one, Sonic Mega Mix. There you go. It's even got a cover now, an official cover and a back. See? Now, this is only the 4.0 version, the one that says on Sonic Retro that it's highly unstable. I'm still waiting for the new one to come out. I know there's been a leaked one that's come out, but I um, I can't play that one yet because the leaked ROM that's come out of the of the new one it's only for it's only configured for the American USA BIOS, which means it's NTSC. It won't play in my system. My Mega CD is not modified at all. It will only play Power European ROMs. So this one's a Power European ROM. And our games always came in like um, double covers. Back in the day, we got we always got these really good, you know, strong CD covers that they always gave us double covers. I don't know why when they only put one in it. But I took advantage of this and I burned two copies. I write my scores down there, and you know, and there you go. There's another one. In case something happens to it, you know. So. So that's one thing I wanted to just talk about and what else, what else can I show you? Maybe some games that I've got that I didn't have before. I had Pulseman before but I didn't, I didn't have a cover. I printed this out, you know. Gunstar Heroes is a game I did not have, I have it now. I've got, and it was a loose cartridge I bought. So I had to print the cover out. So I wanted the cover so I printed that out. Um, I didn't have this one before. Looney Tunes, no, Tiny Tunes, Acme All Stars. Didn't have that one. I got that one actually last week. It's not bad. Um, let me think. What else? I didn't. I don't think I. Sh I had Havoc before. No. Captain Havoc. Now I know the controversy about this game. I know the American and Japanese versions of this game have an extra level at the start. This one doesn't. This, this one starts actually on stage two. I have no idea why that is. I don't even know why the cover was changed, but that's just how it is. But I'm cool with it. You know, what else? What else? What else? What else have we got here? Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. Sonic 3D Flicky Zone. I had this game, but it was a loose cartridge. I had to I had to print the cover out. The 
yeah, the, 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 the cover. Put it in the case. Yeah, and to tell you the truth, to let's see if I can open it. That's it. Whoa. There, I'm not bullshitting. See, I've really got it. So yeah, it's like oh, Sonic and Knuckles. I wanted to print out the European cover. Because I liked it more. So, yeah, I know I'm a rambling on a bit, but, you know, I just wanted to let you know what I've been up to, what's going on, why I don't upload as much. You know, I used to... I had this game, but I didn't have the cover, so... <laughs> you know, that's something to be proud of. You know, I, I got all my Mega Drive games on one side. Mega Drive Genesis. Sega Mega Drive. Sega Genesis. Whatever, you, whatever the hell you want to call it. That's all to the left. But on this side of the wall unit, I keep all my Master System 8-bit games. If I open this, we have even more. So, I keep 8-bit to one side and I keep 16-bit to the other. And it's the same as before in my old bedroom, you know. I kept, I've arranged them from top back row is always the best to the, to the bottom front row is always usually the worst. So the ones down here are generally the ones I ha will hardly ever play, opposed to the ones that are up here. That's why it always starts off with Sonic the Hedgehog at the far back, because to me, Sonic the Hedgehog is the best. The old Sonic, anyway. You know, we've we got all the ones that I'm most likely to play. What's behind Bomberaid? Can we see? Double Dragon, Gold Next, okay. Well, yeah, so that's what I've been up to. Like, you know, I just wanted to be true true to, to some of you who may be wondering, you know, what happened to, what happened to Adam 06A756? You know, I didn't want to just do... I don't want to just fade into the, you know, into the shadows like so many others. Like, for instance... Ian Wilson, 1978, whatever happened to him, you know, he used to, he was a big Mega Drive fanatic, you know, he, used to, he was always uploading videos about the Japanese Sega Mega Drive and how he reckoned it was the best and he was, he made so many videos where he'd talk, talk about what was going on and, and he always did those mini reviews and that, that was great, that was what, three, four years ago, what happened to him, he, he just, he started, I got the feeling that his interest started to sway to other things because t towards the end when he the last few videos he uploaded he started talking about other stuff which is okay of course but when you first like advertise that your channel's about the Mega Drive specifically and then you start adding other things in it sort of I don't know about you lot you guys but for me and I suppose for a few of you perhaps that it turns you off, you know, you don't want to hear about the PlayStation 2 or whatever he was talking about. You know, he was talking about horror movies and things like that towards the end. And, you know, I was like, you know, and he'd only upload something like that every six months. You'd have to wait six months just to find out what, what, what was going on. You know, it wasn't about the Mega Drive in the end. Maybe he got bored of it, I don't know. But, you know, I think he's still on YouTube, but he doesn't upload anymore. And then you've got that other that other one who was a big Mega Drive fanatic. His collection was huge. It was much bigger than mine. You know, where he um I think his name was Dane's Games, where he wanted to sell off all his collection and, and live off the grid. Maybe he, he's done that, maybe he didn't, I don't know, but that's what he was gonna do. I felt pissed off because I'm seeing oh, you know, his big huge game collection that went right across this this big big room that he had. He had shelves everywhere, like it was just massive and then you know, then he tells us that he was selling it all off. I just hate that. I hate it when these big collectors, they sell off their... they, they Like they get bored of it after a few years. Like doing it for a profit or something. Their heart's not in it. You know, well, I'm just here to tell you that my heart is, is still in the Mega Drive. It always has been. I love the power seeing a Mega Drive. I always have. You know, and I love all its attachments and anything that's connected to it. And there's another thing I want to show you here that I've never really properly shown off. Now, some of you have criticized me in the past because when I've made mod videos, 
about the Mega Drive, I was explaining things, and at the time, I will admit, I didn't know what the, what some of the parts were called, like a capacitor or a resistor, you know, or I was naming the wrong thing, this and that. But I will say, you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, because, you know, I was only new to the, the modding, you know, scene back then, and I was just learning things, and... You know, sometimes that's the best way to experiment is to open up your console, look at the motherboard, have a good look at it. You know, I don't have very good soldering skills, so I used a lot of speaker wire and things like that that I'd, I'd you know, put inside and, you know. There's a mod, of, there's, I did a mod to this one. Um, it's a PSG audio mod, and I'll just show you with this game here, I think it's Lemmings, yeah. All right, it's a connection, right? It's all it is, is you hear PSG on its own without the FM YM twenty six twelve. It's just PSG on its own, and I only did that because with this contraption here, right? Master System Power Base Converter that sits on top of the Mega Drive. This is the prop, the proper one. When I noticed when I've got when I got my headphones on and I'm playing Master System games on my Mega Drive and the sound's coming out of the headphone jack like it usually does it doesn't sound very clean and I don't mean it's distorted, I mean you can hear like buzzing and, and every time the screen changes like you know you hear things and it's, it's really loud and sometimes it's overpowering it's, you can hear it on top of the music and I'm like why the fuck is it doing that so I I opened it up and I, I looked for the PSG capacitor, audio capacitor, I know what it's called now, for all you smart asses out there, um, I uh, ran that out through the back here, here it is, I know it looks a bit dodgy, this is the PSG mod I'm talking about, and it goes all the way to the back to my stereo amplifier here, and I'll just show you what I mean, right? This is what the game would normally sound like. Now this is what it sounds like when I put my mod on. I can switch it. Sounds different, doesn't it? <laughs> Let's try a different level, eh? It sounds pretty different, doesn't it? It's because you're not used to it. Let's go this one. I can do this on any game, you know. Let's just switch it. I can switch it straight away. It sounds weird, I know, but that's just... Not that you'd play your Mega Drive games like this. It's only for Master System, because Master System only use, uses the programmable sound generator sound chip. You know, it's just, it provides a clearer sound. And I did it myself. Well, that does sound better, doesn't it? You've got to have the FM with it. If there's FM, we want to hear it. So that's pretty much it. My battery's going flat, so I better stop this video. I don't know how long it's gone for. I'll find out, though. So that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk about. For those of you who are interested, I will still upload videos, but it's not going to be as often anymore. Um, you know, I've got a busy life right now, and, you know, we can't all... You know, it's alright when you, you, you've only got a, a part-time job or a casual job, and you're still living at home with mum and dad. You know, it's like a hobby, you know? You, you go on the computer in your own time, you upload your videos, you want to show them off, you want to get views and get rated and all that stuff. But then, a few years down the track, you, things change. And, you know, maybe it's like that for 
Ian Wilson, 1978, or whoever else was, you know, really big on YouTube back in 2009, 2010, and 2011. You know, it's just, you know, I guess it's a part of, you know, change and, you know, age, I don't know. But I'm just letting you know that I don't know about the others, but with me, the Mega Drive is still king. And I'm not... You know, I'm not totally just biased towards my Mega Drive. I mean, look, in these drawers, I have other consoles. i got a PlayStation. You know, if I open this one, for example, look, there's an Xbox 360 in there. So, and I've got other, I've got games for them, too. The, the games, I, for those ones, I keep over here. Like, uh, there we go, look at all them. Look, there's Xbox 360 games there. Lots of DVDs here. So yeah, see, I do play other consoles, but my heart's not 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 well, not with them ones. My heart will always be with the Mega Drive Genesis and all its wonderful add-ons. So that's it. Now you know what's been going on with the mysterious Adam 060756, aka Adrian Gorner. I still exist. I'm still around, and I'm still here. But just, I'm not, you know, going, and going to upload videos every week like I used to. I don't know what happened to my friends. I used to have really close friends on here. I won't name any names, but except for two of them, the rest I don't stay in contact with anymore. I don't know what happened to them. They went weird on me. I sent messages and private messages and things like that to them on their channels and they never got back to me. So I don't know. I don't know what happened to them. I don't really care at this point. I've got my wonderful fiance. I've got my new life here. I'm happy. So for all of you, you know, whether you like it or not, you know, too bad. If you like what I'm doing, well, good. <laughs> Whatever. I'm going to go now. See you all later. Bye.